When you change your nozzles, make sure you balance your booms. By balancing your booms, you'll get consistent pressure when you turn the booms on and off. This one's great because it's got a pressure gauge at the back so you can see what you're doing. If you've got an auto rate controller on your sprayer and the spray pressure varies as you drive faster and slower, mark your optimum pressure on there. Two to three bar. Keep it inside there. Outside of there, you'll get drift or your coverage will drop off. Get yourself some water sensitive paper and assess the coverage that your nozzles are giving you. Set all three XC nozzles up on your boom so it's nice and easy for you to use the right nozzle at the right time. As part of your pre-start checks, make sure you're checking hoses, particularly around areas where booms are folding up and down. And it's a really good idea to check around pumps where things are vibrating because pipes can rub up against the vibrating areas and wear out quicker. Know your speed, calibrate it, set it, check it, and then double check it with an app on your phone. Get yourself one of these and a nom and it, and it wind speed meter and uh, measure the wind speed. Don't do it up here though. Don't look at the weather forecast. Do it down here where your boom is. So we all know that tip to ground is really important. 50 centimeters from the nozzle tip to the ground to get optimum coverage. So measure that before you go out. Why don't you get yourself one of these zip ties so you can set it up so you know it's always set accurately. So you put your new nozzle on, you've set your pressure on your sprayer. Now you just want to double check it against the nozzle chart to make sure that your two and a half bar does equal your 0.913 litres a minute. Go to the NSTS website, check out when your spraying test needs to be done, get it checked. So you've got an old set of nozzles, you want to check to see how much wear you've got, set the sprayer up, get it running at the same pressure, go around, check every nozzle for one minute with a measuring cylinder. If there's plus or minus 5%, scrap them, get a new set. Set your tyre pressures as low as you can according to the manufacturer's recommendations. Remember, these are an important part of your suspension. They'll minimise the amount of rock in those booms. Know the area of your greens. Make sure you've got them measured. You could use a tape measure and go old school or use one of those fancy new apps on your phone. Get your area right, measure it as if you were spraying it, not in a round circle, and then you'll get the right amount of product in the right amount of water over the right area. Make sure you know where all your filters are on your sprayer and keep them clean. Remember, clean filters, good spraying. So when you're calibrating your sprayer, make sure you use a cylinder. Cylinders are very, very accurate. However, they're not as stable as a jug. So use a jug when you've got chemical in there. So remember, calibrating, put your jugs away.